God, it's you. Thank God. I've been wandering the beach for hours, hoping I'd see someone. Hey, are you okay? Have you only just come too? Shit, okay. I've been up for a few hours, I think. You must be dehydrated. Here, I found a spring slightly further inland and filled my hip flask. Drink, you'll need it in the sun. No, drink your fill. The spring isn't far. Getting more won't be too hard, luckily. Are you sure you've had enough? Ah, uh, then I might as well finish it off. Are you injured at all? In any pain? Okay. Try standing. Okay, okay. Careful, you'll be very weak. Uh, uh, what is it? Your leg? Oh. You must have been hurt when you went overboard. How much do you remember? Think back if you can. It's on deck. Keep your footing. Tie yourselves to one another if you must. We will weather this storm. You, first mate. What's the status of the hull? I hear a rushing from below and we seem a little low to the water. Please don't tell me that's what I think it is. Damn. Okay. How much? We've taken on a foot before and been fine, although that was in easier conditions. Okay. We will be all right, so long as this doesn't get worse. Keep steady. If you can, get anything on the deck thrown overboard. Vital supplies are below, but we need to lose as much weight as we can. Oh, this isn't looking good. What's that? Rogue wave! Brace yourselves! Fuck, it's huge. Hold on. Damn. You might have taken a blow to the head as well. Well, I hope you recover. Yeah, let me lift you. I'll help you into the shade. It won't do for you to stay out here in this beating sun. It's only going to make things worse. Up you get. <clears throat> okay. You lean on me, it's alright. I'm not feeling too weak. Certainly not as weak as you must be. The water's helped a lot. I stayed there drinking for a few minutes when I found that spring. Let's get you inland undercover. There is woodland just past the dunes. It's much cooler there. I'll take us past the spring and fill my canteen on the way. Come on. I'll set you down on this log here. You think you can sit upright with that leg? Stay balanced? Okay. I'm gonna let go of you now. You're alright there. Good. Here. Take another drink. I suppose it's pointless asking if you have any idea where we are. No, I thought not. You weren't exactly in the position to do any surveying of the local area. Well, as far as I can tell, we aren't too far off the course we charted. The sorts of flora and fauna I've seen here indicate to me that we are, at least, still in the right part of the world. Yes. Tropical indeed. This humidity, this heat. Get me back out to sea with a spray on my face and the wind on my back. Oh, but it could be worse. We have fresh water, and I'm sure that finding food won't be too much bother. I saw coconuts along the shoreline, and this verdant forest is surely bountiful. Foraging should not be too hard. Well, of course, there's the question of how we're going to get off this spit of land. 
But it could be worse. I've been through worse. Oh yes, I've been cast away before. Or marooned would be more accurate. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, well, let's just say that the Azon is not the first ship I've captained, nor the second. Perhaps I'm cursed with bad luck, but, you know, this kind of thing is part of the job, really. Personally, I'd be more worried about sailing with a captain who'd never lost a ship before. Someone like that will be clueless when it eventually happens, and it will happen. The sea is a cruel mistress. I do not know of a single captain who's reached old age without losing at least one ship. Yeah. Look, don't worry. I'm sure we'll be off this island in no time. If we're roughly where I think we are, then... Well, it's a fairly common trade route. If we spend enough time on the shore, we're bound to see another ship before too long. Oh, I don't know. A few weeks? And that's if we're lucky. Word of that storm will probably have reached others, so... We might not see anything coming through here for a little bit if they've diverted course. So I hope you don't hate it too much. We're going to have to get comfortable here. Oh yeah. And we're going to want to get used to each other's company too. Worst thing you want when you've been cast away is to be trapped with someone you hate. I know I'd only just brought you on as first mate and we didn't know each other all that well. But that's okay. In a few weeks we'll either be very intimately acquainted, or we will have killed each other. So let's try and do the first thing, eh? <laughs> yeah, that would be my preference too. And who knows, maybe we'll find someone else next time we patrol the shore. Well, I've never found anyone else before when I've been cast away. But then, I found you. So maybe I've just had bad luck in the past. Once we've both had a rest and cooled off in the shade, we'll head back out. Chances are, if the ship went down near here, someone else will wash up. At least I hope. This island seems fairly big, but then the ocean is endless. It could end up anywhere. Exactly. In honesty, it's probably a minor miracle that I found you. And especially that I found you before you died of dehydration. In that sun, unconscious, you probably only had another few hours. Mm. How's your head, by the way? Yeah. Mine's killing me too. We'll just have to make sure to drink plenty and find something to eat. With luck, it'll fade. If not, well, then whatever blow to the head you took may be a bit worse than first thought. But fingers crossed, eh? Now let's take stock. Have you got anything on you aside from the clothes you're wearing? Almost everything of mine must have got washed away, save for my hip flask. A few bits of parchment I'd folded in an inside pocket and this pen. Compass too, but it's broke. Just your pocket knife. Well, that could be damn useful actually. Try and keep it sharp if you can. Being able to cut things will be great if we want to stay alive. I suppose I might as well do a little writing. About the only useful thing I can do with this stuff. And use it as kindling for a fire, I suppose. Maybe that's what I'll do with it if what I write turns out to be rubbish. Ah. No ink. Of course. What was I thinking? Well, that scuppers that plan. Kindling it is. Oh, I was just going to write a log to entertain myself, I suppose. Keep my mind active. All pointless, of course. The log will have been lost with the ship. It's probably at the bottom of the sea by now, so there's nothing to add to, even if I did have ink. Bah, sod it. <sighs> Are you hungry? There's bound to be something around here to eat, some fruit or something. Touch a lizard, maybe. You ever had lizard? Stringy as all hell and not much on them, but... What's that? Look up. Ah! <laughs> Genius! Of course, we are lucky. These are mango trees. And look at that fruit. Beautiful. Looks fairly ripe. 
Right, hold on. Let me see if I can find a good rock or stick or something. Knock one down. Uh, ah, here we go. Yeah. This should do it. Let's see. Ah, damn. Missed. Need another rock. Uh, here, pass us that one there. That looks good. Yes! <laughs> ah, there we go. Mm. Yeah, these look good. Pass us your knife. Uh, shame it's a little underripe, but it'll still sustain us. Yeah, you have this one. I reckon it's the ripest of the bunch. Mm, yeah. Not bad at all. Uh, better than what we had on the ship, even, I'd say. Those oranges were starting to get a little wrinkly. Ah, this could be worse, couldn't it? Food, water, nature, freedom of a sort. And isn't freedom exactly why we do what we do? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just trying to stay positive. It's what you've got to do in situations like this. No point complaining. Complaining isn't going to raise the ship and get us back to civilization. Just think of this as a, a nice little tropical vacation from pirating. I hope this doesn't put you off this whole pirating thing. Not that you've much choice, of course. Once you're in, you're in for good. Unless you know someone who can clear your record. If you stay in one place too long, the authorities are bound to catch up with you. Only choice, once you've begun a life of piracy, is to stick with it. Stay on the move. And make allies. Well, enemies too, of course. Ideally, you'll have more allies than enemies, so that when your enemies do give you trouble, your team's bigger than theirs. <laughs> Good to hear it. I knew that bringing you on as first mate wasn't a mistake. Let's keep it that way, eh? Stay on my good side and we should be just fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Once you finish your fruit, we should head back to the shoreline. See if we can spot anything on the horizon. Or perhaps someone else washed up. You never know. Hmm. Then, I would say... I would say we probably have another hour or two of sunlight left. So we'll want to think about making shelter. Unless you're okay with roughing it, but I wouldn't recommend it. It might seem fine now, but rain can come quick and heavy in these parts. You saw how quickly that storm overwhelmed the ship. We don't want to be caught out in something like that. It'll be miserable. Although, at least we won't need to worry about drowning this time. <laughs> Tell me, have you ever built a shelter before? No? Well, that's no matter. It isn't so hard, at least not for something basic. Another little thing I picked up last time I was marooned. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm afraid we are nowhere near close enough for me to tell you the story of my marooning. Not yet, anyway. Nobody else on the ship even know it happened at all. Try again in a week or two, perhaps. By then, if we haven't killed each other, we'll be spilling every secret we know just for something to talk about. Mm hmm. Yes. So, my advice? Save the best stories you have for when we need something really interesting to say. And you know the code. What's said on the desert island stays on the desert island. Whatever you tell me, I won't tell another soul. I hope you'll extend to me the same courtesy. Good. Don't look forward to it, mind. I might never feel like telling you. And besides, if you're anticipating it, it'll probably just disappoint you. I promise it's not that interesting. <clears throat> anyway, let's go and check out that shoreline again. See what we can see before it gets dark. Oh yes, you're right. Are you sure you've never been marooned before? It is worth looking out at night as well. If a ship has any lights on it, it'll be easier to spot at night. But still, can't hurt. Let's go. Hey. Ah, uh, any luck in that direction? Damn. No. Okay. I thought splitting up might be worth a go, but... Hell. 
I wonder where everybody else is. I dearly hope that at least some of them survived. Perhaps some managed to get onto a small boat, but in that storm, I'd be very surprised if any of those were able to stay afloat. Yes, we just have to hope that some are washed up further along, or on another island. Or, perhaps, have been picked up by another ship already. It's possible. Indeed. Stay positive. Keep your mind on what you want, not what you fear. Everything... Everything will be fine. <sighs> what a mess. What a glorious mess. <sighs> Come sit with me. We might as well enjoy a beautiful sunset while we have the opportunity. Despite all this, it really could be worse. This island would surely be considered a paradise if you were here of your own volition. And I suppose it's still a paradise for us, even if we'd rather be somewhere else. <clears throat> All we really need is a spot of rum. I'd go down a treat right now. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. You don't. I thought you said you didn't have anything but your knife. Where have you been hiding that flask? Were you keeping it from me? Hey. A surprise. For me. <laughs> well, that's... That's very thoughtful. I, uh, I appreciate that. <sighs> oh, that spirit's really improved my spirits, I have. <laughs> oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. We're going to have to take all the jokes we can, good or bad, if we're going to stay sane. Have a laugh. Have a drink. <laughs> Let's just watch the sun and the sea for a bit. Head back in, make shelter, get some rest. Everything's going to be fine.